Hi, students. Hope oh, everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another important conversion in number system, which is decimal to any radix conversion. In previous video, we have seen any radix to decimal, and today we are going to see decimal to any radix conversion. And in this video, you will see how to convert decimal to binary, decimal to octal, decimal to hexadecimal, and decimal to any radix. Okay. And before seeing this particular decimal to any radix conversion rules, we have already seen how to convert any radix to decimal. And the logic for that is you have to do a multiplication using the power and the corresponding base. Right. That is the logic behind any radix to decimal okay so you have to understand the logic of each and every conversion so that you will not get confused okay and now we will see the rules and regulation for decimal to any radix conversion and here and we already know what is integer part and what is fractional part okay now consider this number 576.12 this is the integer part and this is the fractional part okay so you have two rules for this that is you have to calculate you have to convert a decimal to any radix by using two methods one is successive division method another one is successive multiplication method okay how to do that like you have to convert the integer part separately and you have to convert the fractional part separately for converting the integer part you have to use successive division method and for converting fractional part, you have to use successive multiplication method. Okay. And successive multiplication method is for fractional part. Okay. So don't get confused. Okay. And in successive division method, it is very simple method, but this is the rules for it. That is, you have to divide the integer part of the decimal number with the corresponding base and store the quotient value and the remainder value. Consider the quotient as a new decimal number and repeat the step 1. Write this, you have to follow until it becomes 0. Okay. And then you have to write the remainder in a reverse order. Okay. If you don't understand the steps, you hope I hope you remember uh, this particular conversion. For example, if you want to convert a, a decimal to a binary value, like this you will do. Right. 2, that is 12, and then the remainder is 0. And 2, we are going to divide 12, that is 6, so it is 0. And this 2, that's 3, 6. And for 2, it is 1 and 0. And now while writing, you have to write from bottom. Of the corresponding binary number is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. 4 zeros and 1. Okay, 1 is here. Okay. So, this is what they have said as successive division method. Okay. So, it can be 2 or 8 or 16 depending upon the base. You have to divide the integer. Okay. And for multiplication part, you have to multiply the fractional part. For example, if the question is given here is 0.12, then you have to multiply with the corresponding base. If it is binary, you have to do it with binary 2. And if it is octal, you have to multiply with 8. And if it is hexadecimal you have to use 16 and you have to multiply you will get some answer for example here you will get 0.24 so once again you have to multiply this number and if you get any remainder you have to calculate that there is no remainder here so it is 0 ok and like this you have to continue you will understand when I explain ok for successive multiplication method this is the step multiply the fractional part of the decimal number by the desired base and record the integer part as a product and carry and you have to leave the carry part and you have to bring the fractional part alone as a new fractional part and you have to repeat these two steps until it becomes zero okay and then you have to write the carry from top to bottom and this is these steps involved in successive multiplication if you don't understand the steps don't worry while solving the problem you will understand okay all you have to remember is you, for converting a decimal to any radix, you have to go for successive division and successive multiplication method. Okay. So, first you start with decimal to binary. Okay. So, this is the given value. This is the decimal system and you have to calculate 
the corresponding binary value. And as I said, we need to find out this is the integer part and this is the fractional part. Okay. An integer part you have to use successive division method and fractional part you have to use successive multiplication method. Okay. And you can see the numbers 5, 6, 7, 9 divided by 2, you will get this value and remainder is 1. And similarly 2, you will get this particular value 1, 4 and again 1 and you will get 2 times 18, another 1. And similarly like that you have to divide completely. Okay. And you have to correspondingly add the remainder. Okay. Hope you remember this. Like for 2, it is to 7, 14. And again, you cannot uh, divide 0. So, 1, you cannot divide 1. So, I am putting 0 here. And 19, it is 9 and remainder 1. And again, 2, 3, 5, 4, and remainder 1. And again, 177, 88, 44, like this, it goes on. And while writing the corresponding value, you have to write it from bottom to top approach. Right? So, it is 1, 0, 1, 1, triple 0, 1, 0, 4, 1. Okay. So, this is for integer part. And for multiplication, that is for fractional part, you have to go for successive multiplication method. Okay. For successive multiplication, what you have to do? You have to use this fractional part. And that we, have to, we are going to convert for binary. Correct. We are going to convert for a binary. So, what I am doing is 0 0.329 into 2. Right. So, that you will get this particular value. There is no carry. That is 0. And you are going to multiply only 6, 4, 8 into 2. And you get 2, 9, 6. That is 1, 2, 9, 6. And I am going to leave this carry. Right. And you are going to bring only this 2, 9, 6 here. And you are going to multiply by 2. And so that you will get this particular value. And again it is carry. Right. And again what you will do is you will multiply with 2. That is 5, 9, 2. So, you will get this particular value leaving this carry. So, now you have to write only this carry part alone from top to bottom. You can see it is 0, 1, 0, 1. You can see this is 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. And this is the fractional part. So, I am writing it as 0 0.0101. And the corresponding answer how you have to write it is 5679.329 and you have to Write this particular integer part first and then the fractional part and the corresponding base. Okay. And you will have one particular question here that is where we would stop. Why is that we stopped at this particular point? Okay. So you can see here this is 3, 2, 9. There is already 3 decimals here. So for our convenience what we are doing is we are going for another one. Right. Uh, have this as a thumb rule like if the question is given 3 bits, I will find it for 4 bits. If it is 2 bits, we will find it for 3 bits. Just 1 bit extra. And then we will stop. Okay. And that is what I have done here. Like we have multiplied 4 times. Since it after decimal, there is 3 bits here. Okay. So this is the process involved in converting decimal to binary. You have to use successive division method for integer part. And for fractional part, you have to use successive multiplication method. Okay. And the same steps is applicable for decimal to octal. And only one difference is, if this is octal, so what you have to do is, you have to divide by 8. Okay. So, you can see, we are dividing by 8. And the corresponding remainder is put here. So, that we have to write from bottom to top. It is 13071. Similarly, 0.329, what we are going to do is, we are going to multiply by 8. So, I am going to multiply by 8 and you are getting this answer. And again, I am going to take only the 632 and multiply by 8. You are getting this particular answer. And similarly, 0 0.056 into 8 and it is 448. And again, I am multiplying by 8. So, I will get this particular value. Okay. So, you can see here, we are stopping it at 4 digits because it, there is already 3 digits in fractional part. Okay. And you have to write from top to bottom. Okay. It is 2503. You can see here. Okay. And while writing the answer, you have to combine this part, the integer answer dot this fractional part answer. Okay. So, this is decimal to octal conversion. Okay. And the next one is decimal to hexadecimal conversion. Okay. 
So decimal to XR decimal conversion, the same steps for integer part, what you have to do is you have to do successive division method and fractional part you have to do successive multiplication method. Okay, and what you have done here is you are dividing it by 16 because we need XR decimal number. Okay, and you can see by dividing by 16 it is 355 and you will get the remainder 9. And again, 22, remainder 3, and it is 1, and remainder is 6. So, 1, 6, 3, 9. And similarly, we are going to multiply by 16, you will get this answer. And I am going to leave this carry alone, and bring this 2, 6, 4, multiply by 16. And again, we are going to multiply by 2, 2, 4 into 16. Like this, it goes on. Okay. And we got to stop it by 4 digits here once again. Right. And you are going to write only the... Only the carry alone, 5439, 0 0.5439, okay, right. So, while writing the answer, you have to combine both this integer answer dot and this fractional part answer, okay. And the last one is decimal to any radix, okay, decimal to any radix. So far, we have seen decimal to binary, decimal to octal, decimal to hexadecimal. Even if it is any radix, you don't want to worry. It is the same steps you have to do. All you have to do is, you have to find out what is the number it's given. And you have to divide that number. The integer part has to be divided by that number. And the fractional part has to be multiplied by that number. Okay. So, you can number of the number integer part divide the number of number of the number of the number of the number of the multiply of the number of the So, I am dividing it by 9. And again 9. So, now we are getting this answer 7721 7, which is of base 9. And similarly, I am going to convert this fractional part 3 to 9 into 8. I am getting this particular value. And again, I am going to use only 961 and then only 649, 849, 569 alone. Okay. And I am going to write this carry from top to approach 2857. And while writing the answer, we need to add the 7721 dot the fractional part. 2857. Okay. So, what we have seen is, we have seen how to convert decimal to any radix. Okay. And, and for this, you are using only two steps. One is successive division method. Another one is successive multiplication method. Okay. And successive division method is used for integer part and successive multiplication method is used for fractional part. Okay. And we have seen how to convert Decimal to binary, decimal to octal, decimal to hexadecimal, and decimal to any radix. Okay. Hope you understand the logic behind this. Okay. Thank you, students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, Ongal Kalar, Kurombo useful Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.